Hi Virgo, so I'm here to do May's Energy Spread. I'll be doing the normal Celtic Cross with my Empowerment deck and clarifying with the Rider Waite. Um, all I want, what I want to say beforehand is if you do want to follow me on social media, it's Divinely Guided with Love on Instagram. My link is in the description box below to my Facebook account and also on my website for one-on-one -on -one readings. So my readings are open. So I'm going to jump straight in. I think that's all I've got to say. If my voice doesn't go a bit croaky, I am recovering from tonsillitis. Um, I get it all the time, especially in times when I've zipped my mouth and I shouldn't have, but, you know, it's one of them things. So, there we go. We are in, uh, Mercury is coming into Gemini this week, and Mercury is also your ruling planet as well. So, should be good for Virgos and Geminis, especially in communication. So, hopefully, my tons like this will sort off and I'll be able to speak my truth. <laughs> so, Mother Nature, perfect card for Virgo. It is earthy. It's about now grounding yourself. It's time to blossom. It's time to see the God or Goddess within yourself. It's time to treat yourself like the Goddess and, uh, or God that's within you. We are gods and goddesses in human form. You know, we are spirit. We have a soul. So it's time to see that. So I see you blossoming, a lot of self-work, uh, working with things that um, haven't been going so well. You know, it's almost like you're turning negatives into positives now. Um, I just saw a magnet, that's all that's why I'm saying that. Sorry, I'm going to keep messing with my eyelashes because I need them refilling. <laughs> and they're doing me head in. So, any challenge or blockage for the uh, at the minute? So it's, it's like, I want to say, making a comeback. Soul Sisters, is to be around people that applaud your achievements, to be around people that you can be yourself with. Um, so it's time to be around. I, that's what I feel like. It, you're making a comeback. So it's time to be around those that bring out that energy in you, you know, this transformation. Yeah, see, we've got freedom. Why is it coming around freeing yourself? So you've, free, you've got freedom from some kind of karmic cycle. So you might, you're might you still carrying some kind of shackles from it, which could be memories, because uh, there's still things be lingering on from that past. But it's almost like, Virgo, you've just got this like newfound freedom energy around you, and it's amazing. It's like a blank page that it's time for you to write the script. You know, you've got the, you've got the time now to decide what you want your life to look like. So it's really nice. Recent past call of the wild. So your dreams could have been funky. Uh, you could have had some funky dreams lately. I've got the dream catcher there. But it's better protection. It's spiritual protection. Using shamanic work. Um, being in nature. Wanting to be out more. So you could have felt that you were feeling wanting to go out more. But it's better untaming yourself. The best the call of the wild. Especially coming straight after freedom. It's like you've been freed. You know. You are now free to be wild. You know. To run away wild to dance to sing to do whatever you want without judgment it's uh nice energy at present we have got the ruins so you i do feel like you're making a comeback because it's like bricks and mortar that can't be rebuilt but you can and the light is shining down on a more natural fresh start now so it's it's more a lot of this is it's natural it's earthy which is really nice for your sign as well but i feel like you could be looking into more like natural things wanting to be in nature wanting to eat more cleanly um wanting to be uh wanting life to be more natural for it to flow naturally so it's a nice energy you could be feeling overtired at the minute could be a need for rest because near future we've got your heart chakra so your heart chakra is opening so the self-love and everything that you're doing for yourself is going to be so worth it because you are going into self-love it is time to be the empress it is time to be grounded and blossom you know add add some branches to those to your tree to your tree of life it's um uh, it's lovely your power now is desires well what do you desire you could have, you could be wanting to relocate you could be wanting something i'm going to clarify anyway but it's the hand of the divine is basically saying what do you want now what do you want with your life not everything is written in stone what do you want to desire from this what do you want to manifest the outside influence being four elements because you're more balanced 
So you're coming out of the rainy days and the sun is starting to shine on you. You are realising your worth. So I think Virgos, I think it's, what do they call it? Call it a glow up. You know what I mean? It's almost like you've been in this dark energy for so long. It's no time to glow. So you could be focusing on your physical appearance as well as like inner, you know, there's a lot of healing going on here. It's almost like you're taking your power back. Hope so fears, choices in direction in the throat chakra. Speaking your truth, saying no when it's needed, but also speaking about there could still be things lingering on from the past but with the ruins card there. Speak it, speak to people who you can trust, you know, let it out, release it, release it, the throat chakra, because there's new choices opening up. You're just at a pivotal point where you are working on yourself and that work that you're doing on yourself is going to open up brand new paths. It's, uh, I love this reading. I want to be a Virgo this month. Your outcome is my abandoned car, but it's not that. It's about letting go of these people that no longer serve you, freeing yourself from certain situations, realising who has been bringing negativity into your life or what you've been doing that's been bringing negative thoughts into your life. Because the hand of the divine will always lead you to all the peace of people and the places that bring light into your life. So maybe there's, need to there's, there's a need to spend time with friends. There's a need to find yourself again. It's like rediscovery, self-discovery. That's what I'm feeling in this. I, I love this reading. It's uh, it's so earthy and natural. So the Mother Nature card. We've got the Knight of Cups and the Page of Wands. So you are being offered the chance now to bring some excitement into your life. Um, to love yourself, to bring you might have some fire energy in you, you know. But again, you could have been single for a while, so this new fine, there could be a new fine passion, you know, something to get excited about. What's that? Yeah, something to celebrate. It's time to be happy. It's time to have time with friends. It's time to celebrate. It's time to get glammed up or get done up if you're a male, male, man, male. I've got my words today. They're not coming out. Um, it's time to be happy, it's time to celebrate. It feels like you've been held back for so long and now it's like, unleash the lion. <laughs> you know? So, challenge being soul sisters. We have healing and judgment. So, you might be thinking now, it could be a time where you are thinking about friendships, situationships, that type of thing. Who is for my greater good and who hasn't got my back? Do not be used by friends either. Because if you're a newfound single, uh, you do get a lot of like single people latching onto you, that type of, of energy. And then as soon as they get with someone, don't you? <laughs> they're not so they're not so family. They you know it's that type of thing. So use your own judgment when it comes to relationships because we've got a hangman. You you know seeing things from a different perspective. I mean that light bulb moment. <laughs> I can see truth in you. So freedom. Ten of cups. It's time to be emotionally happy. It's time to be happy. I love this reading. Call of the Wild, the Four of Swords, and the seven, seven of Swords. So, Seven of Swords in reverse, stealing, lying, cheating, past, gone. Four of Swords, now you can rest easy. So, uh, you could have come away from someone who was negative energy, or that could be the friendships. Anyone who's negative, gotta go. Because it's time for you to like meditate, it's time for you to get out of your own head. Hang the thoughts up for a little while, hang the swords up for a little while. It's time to have some fun. So the ruins, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So you are building yourself back up. You're back in your earth energy. So it's nice. So you could be saving up for something. There's a need to save up for something. Or money's going to get better. Yeah, we've got the sun. It's time to be happy. We've got happy days. Some of my Virgos could be uh, planting seeds, as in uh, pregnancy. It's time to go from stormy waters to smoother waters. So you are going from storm waters to smooth waters within yourself, the heart chakra. You're unblocking your heart chakra, no longer feeling left out in the cold. If you are single and you've been single for a while, you could be just ready now to start opening yourself up to love because you're doing the work in order to feel like the God and Goddess that you are. You know, you know your worth, you know what you want and you definitely know what you don't want from the past. So you are unblocking your heart chakra. So we've got justice because it's karmic justice. So you could be bringing, you could be going towards a Libra or you could be going towards some legal documents that will bring balance into the situation. Some of my Virgos definitely relocating legal documents and on the desires card, all looking at the house. 
um but where do you feel at home who do you feel at home with what friends do you feel at home with what people 11 11 so definitely could become some uh Relocate Virgo's relocating, but it can also be the completion of a project, getting into your power. You are your own project. You know, it's uh so there is wishes gonna be granted after freeing yourself from this negative cycle. Say tower in reverse, the tower's in the past, don't expect it to come back around. The nine of pentacles, you're building yourself back up again. This is amazing. This is like coming into your full power, like you're not taking no crap anymore. So desires, the yes, of swords. So you could be gunning for something now. It could be legal again, legal documentation. It could be um I wanted to say statements then, so I don't know what that's about. Uh some of my Virgos might have to write a statement or something like that. Um but it's about, it's the sort of truth, truth and clarity, seeing the truth of a situation, knowing what you need to do now. You need to get that crown back on your head, you know, in order to manifest what you want, cut out what you don't want, manifest what you do want. Yeah, see, let go of anything that no longer serves you because you're going to gain more. Finances are going up. Really, it looks really good financially. So we've got the lover's card with the four elements. So you could have a Gemini around you. Gemini is real by Mercury, same as you. Uh, so they could have a Gemini around you, but it is my divinely guided card. He's looking towards her. She's looking towards the divine for guidance. So it could be your spirit guides, your, you, you know, family members in spirit. Someone is guiding you forward. Things could be changing in the Gemini season. So coming up. Mercury is in Gemini though at the minute as well. Again, the, the planet of communication. So Mercury is in Gemini and we've got Je Mercury retrograde on the 29th. So we could be going to all Gemini season, 21st of May, going forwards to the 19th, 20th of June. So that could be significant. And the Two of Cups. So coupled Geminis, things are going to get a lot easier when it hits summer. Uh, I, I can't want to say June, July. Single Geminis, I feel like once you get to summer, you're ready to put yourself out there. You, you know, you're ready to have some fun. You're ready to have some days out. You've got choices coming up, choices and options. I think couple Geminis, it's more about finances, maybe relocation. And just as I'm going on about Mercury, we get the Magician, which is the card of Mercury. Also, the card of Aries. But the Magician, manifesting, using your own powers to manifest. So options so you're cutting out what no longer is it instead of spreading yourself out so thinly i feel like you're learning the art of saying no I'm, i don't want to do that this is what i want i'm following the hand of the divine page of swords so someone could be trying to get a reaction out of you or but you've got victory coming in someone could be spying they could be spying energy so it could be someone from the past because you're glowing up. You've got the Queen of Cups there. You're like looking after yourself. You're going into your emotions. You're dealing with your shit. And so someone from the past could be watching you thinking, oh, check her out. Check him out. <laughs> but I shall leave you with that. And I hope it gets to the person that you need it. Bye.